Items to be placed in your room can be selected by choosing the drag and drop menu in the lower left hand corner of your screen. The drag and drop menu will list your products and it also lists the catalog. You can change catalogs by clicking on the arrow to the right and scrolling up and down or you can change individual products by double clicking on the categories. The catalogs for cabinetry are set up much like your spec books are. If you want to find a sink base, simply tab back through to the sink base category by going to base cabinets, scrolling down until you find the sinks, and it'll give you a listing of sinks. If you wanted corner cabinets, go back to categories, again, find your base corner category, and scroll down to the appropriate item. In this case, we'll choose a base corner 90. What type would I like? I'd like to have a 90 degree standard and it will give me all of my options. I have BC33s, BC36s, BC42s. The items that you see in this list are based on your catalogs, your brand specific catalogs. So if they call a base corner a CB36, that's what you'll see there. If they offer varying sizes, that's what you'll see there because you're working in their product line. Now, in this case, I'm going to place a base corner 36 right in the upper right hand corner. I will do so by holding my left hand button down on the item, dragging it to the corner, and dropping it, and you'll see that it snapped right into place. Now, to the bottom of this menu, there's a bar. This is a search area for items. Now, we scrolled through, we actually um, uh, drilled down in the menu to find this cabinet. There's a much faster way to find items if you know the nomenclature. If we wanted to place a base uh, 12 left to the right of the base corner 36, I can go down to the search and click and type B12 for base 12. And as I do so, you'll see here on the left hand side, it actually filters down to the exact item that I want. I'll take the B12 left. I will drag it and drop it. And in this case, because I dropped it in between the placement zones, I can now drag this back and forth and slide it right up against my base corner cabinet. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's put a sink base centered underneath of the window. Again, I'll drop down to my search and I will type in SB36. I'll drag my sink base 36 over to the window. Now, in the case of the sink base, I'm going to drop that right below the window of my drawing. And the reason I'm going to do that is a lot of your manufacturers have set their catalogs to have what we call Ask Add-ons. Ask Add-ons are basically attachments that would be standard for an item. So in, when you're looking at your sink base, and I can hold my left button down and simply turn the sink base right, left, up, and down. To the right-hand side, it says, commonly, when you choose a sink base, you would also want to place a sink or a cooktop in it. Well, if I click the plus next to sinks, it will give me a list of all of my sink options. And in this case, I could choose this 33 inch sink and take a look at it. I'll tilt it down, holding the left hand button, turn around and decide, you know, that's not the sink I would like. I wanted to have a double bowl sink, so I'll move my mouse back over to my options. I'll click inside of the box to the left of the double bowl sink. There we go. That's exactly what I want, so I will click OK. Not only could I place the sink, but if you also notice on the screen, the system knew to center it. Let me zoom in a little bit by rolling my wheel forward. It actually centered it underneath of the window automatically. It did so because I dropped it below the window to begin with. Now, to the right of this, you'll see that I have a 15 inch base. Maybe I'd like to put a base 15 right in that spot. I'll go back to search. I'll type in B15. Again, it filters down to the cabinet that I'm looking for. It'll say I have lefts and cabinets with rollout trays and so on. I just wanted a simple B15, right? I can click it and I can drag it over or I can show you a quick feature built into 2020. Anytime you select an item on the floor plan, you can take your cursor back over to your drag and drop menu simply double click. I'm clicking the left hand button on my mouse twice, double click, and it will snap that cabinet to the right of the previous item. That's a quick way to place cabinets in 2020.